y'all and welcome to today's video. I am very excited because my order from Colourpop is here. Look, all my Nightmare Before Christmas goodies are here. I ordered this on launch day and I did pay for express shipping so I could get this video out to y'all super, super quick. So today it's going to be like swatching, playing, creating a look, giving you my first impression, thoughts, showing you close-ups, everything like that. But I'm excited because the packaging on this is so cute. I have seen The Nightmare Before Christmas a few times. I wouldn't say it's like a holy girl favorite movie for me, but I do think it's cute and this packaging is adorable. You can hear my little puppy Atlas. He's laying like right, right here in front of me right now. So if you hear noise, it's just my little puppy. But this packaging is so cute. So we have a pressed powder palette. This is 12 eyeshadows. We're going to play with the palette. I bought the whole set. I bought the Trio of Terror Jelly Much Shadow Trio. I've never tried ColourPop's Jelly Much Shadows, so I'm excited to test this out. But how cute are the boxes? I'm definitely keeping the boxes to everything. I bought the Scream Queen and Pumpkin King liners. I'm pretty sure these are liquid liners, right? Yes, BFF liquid liner. I've never tried ColourPop's liquid liner formula before. I bought the sponge. It's the Detail Blending Sponge. I bought the three <laughs> lipsticks. And look how cute this packaging is. They're little ornaments. So I'm actually going to save these and ask Jackson, my son, if he wants to put these on his Christmas tree. Because I think these are adorable like they're glittery and fun and really cute so I'm saving those I bought what else came in this collection hey where are my little stickers I need to find the stickers where did they go but I bought the glitterly obsessed this is Colourpop's glitter gel I love this formula so I'm excited to have another one and then it came with some face stickers where, did I drop them? I'm going to find them and we're going to put face stickers on the eyes. They're little jewels. So we're going to play with it all. But hey, if you are new here, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, nightmare before Christmas collections. Like we're here for it all. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week. If you're looking for fun makeup content, this is the place to be. But I can't wait to show y'all swatches, show y'all close-ups, play with everything. So let's jump into it. is available both at Colourpop and at Ulta. I actually ordered this from the Colourpop site, but I will link everything down below to both Colourpop and Ulta for you in case you're curious. What I want to show you first, I'm going to show you a close-up of this Zero sponge when it's clean and small. I, I wanted to show you before I got makeup all over it, but I have had these Colourpop sponges before I really enjoy them. I think this one is cute with zero on it. I did use it for foundation, concealer, and powder today and really enjoy that. So what we'll do next is lips. I want to put a lip color on. Let me show you a close-up of the packaging of these three lips. They're a lot nicer in person than the photos I saw over on Instagram. These are kind of like a clear black packaging translucent black I don't know what you would call it but there is a red this is Jack's shade this is Jack Skellington and it's a red there's embossing on the lipstick that's like snowflakes and skeletons which I think is super cool there is also Sally which I'm pretty sure her dress has pink I will say even though I'm not a fan of the movie or I won't say I'm not a fan even though it's not like my holy grail movie. I do like it. It's very cute, but I understand why huge fans of the movie were a little disappointed that like some of the greens weren't represented in the palette, but I'm really happy that they went with like 
fun colors. Like I'll wear red, I'll wear hot pink, I'll wear this nude color. This is Oogie Boogie. So this is the color I'm gonna put on today. It's this beautiful nude. Again, all the lipsticks have that skull and snowflake embossing, which I think is really pretty. All three lipstick formulas are the Cream Luxe lipsticks. And I put on just a little bit of lip liner. This is Soft Spoken NYX Suede Lip Liner. I'll link the other stuff on my face down below too. But I like this formula from ColourPop. I think it's really nice. It's just a nice creamy bullet lipstick. And this is a very pretty, very pretty shade. I like that they went with like a nude shade that I can wear all the time as opposed to like a bright green or something because I do have fun lipstick colors and I really like having those but it's not something I need like multiples of you know so I was excited about these again the lipsticks not a new formula to me but very nice now I'm going to prime my eyes and we are going to play with the palette. Let me show you a close up of the palette and swatches right now because I love that they went with this top row of like cool grungy tones. I feel like that's very fun. I think if you have never seen the movie, you would still really like this palette color story. Obviously I haven't tried it on the eyes yet, but the color story drew me in. Maybe it doesn't fit the movie to a T. But I think it's very fun. Like, if this was not a Nightmare Before Christmas palette that released from ColourPop, I still would have bought it because I think this color story is really, really cool. I'll also show you swatches of the Jelly Much shadows. I think they're really cool. You have, like, a hot pink. You have, like, a deeper purpley black shade. And then you have, like, a blue-brown shifty shade. I'll show you a close-up of the Glitterly Obsessed of also it's called master of fright we're gonna use this i love the ColourPop glitterly obsessed i know i keep saying that but i'm so happy they launched more okay i'm gonna prime my eyes and we're gonna try some of everything on the lids okay i have primed my eyes with my p louise mama -ma mitchell acid rain base i really want to try some of the colors on my eyes like I'm really drawn to this top row of grungy tones, but I'm also like, Heather, how can you not play with these <laughs> three shades down here? So let's start off with this kind of red orange called, what's this? Which is a fun name, like very fun. I'm gonna pick this up on a Lunar Beauty brush. I'm gonna make sure there's no creases in my primer. And I'm gonna put this right here. A lot of times when I'm testing new palettes, I like to do kind of a two-toned crease. It just allows me to like use more shades. I wanna put as many of these products on my eyes as I can. And I know I'm gonna use the Jelly Much shadows. So look at how pigmented that is. I mean, do I even have to say anything about the pigment? That's a very pigmented shade, very pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brush from What's Up Beauty and I'm gonna go in to Everybody Scream. This shade is so pretty. We're gonna kinda go for it. <laughs> I'm putting this shade right here. I'm not bringing it all the way out cause I, I, tried, I wanna try to fit three of these matte shades on the eyes but you can see this is pigmented right now i'm just getting the colors placed down where i want them i can go back and blend in a bit but i'm just looking really at color placement right now and i want this to be like the orange to fade to this what is this like a fuchsia magenta type of color and then I'm going to grab a smaller brush from What's Up Beauty, R102, and we are going to dip into this shade up here in my bones, this gray color. And this is what's going to be like our outer corner shade. So I'm putting that right out here. And I'm going to kind of wrap it like this 
So almost like I'm writing a C, right? So it's coming up like this and under that lower lash line. And then I'm going to just make sure these are all kind of nicely blended together now that I have that shape how I want it. Okay, so I took the brush that I used with uh, Everybody's Scream. I'm not picking up any more product and I'm gonna lightly blend over not down here but right along the edges here to kind of make everything a bit more blended and seamless so i'm just going back and forth i'm holding the brush down super low like this because i just want it to barely graze my skin for a very light blend okay now i'm going to take this bk 204 and i want to go into halloween town this is one of those mattes that has a shimmer but it's not the shimmer type that blends away super quickly which i like it has a lot of different dimension but it's blendable like a matte i'm putting this on the lower lash line and i feel like i can still see just a little bit of that sparkle in the shade which i kind of like i feel like that looks pretty cool now I let y'all know that I am not familiar with the Jelly Much formula. I've never used it before. It is new to me. I did swatch it so I could kind of feel the texture, but I'm going to use this shade called Lock, and I'm going to just try to put this on my lid with a brush. I'm going to kind of pack it on and see what happens. I'm going to go first in with my LBE4 from Lunar Beauty. It's, it's like a flat, dense, kind of tapered brush. So I'm just like running my brush in here. I don't know, let's try this formula together. And I think what I'll do is kind of brush it on. I just, I don't know what to expect from this formula, if it's gonna like crease on me, last on me. Should I have put down like a glitter primer underneath? I don't think so, but I'm putting it on the lid and then I'm gonna like look up so I can see like <laughs> where it would touch and I'm just going to kind of, I'm gonna put it on precisely, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna go back and kind of blend the shadow. I don't really like harsh lines. I kind of like messy makeup looks nothing too precise so I'm just gonna put this on it's a very sparkly which I like like having it on I can see that it's definitely like a black or gunmetal gray base and it's got lots of sparkle to it so I'm just gonna put it on like that it's messy I know it looks messy you're like Heather blend it I'm gonna let it dry down and then I'm going to go back with the brushes that I used for the powder and I'm going to see how I blend it. Like if I can blend out the edges or if it's going to stay like a harsh line. I kind of have a feeling it may stay. But let's see. Let me do the other eye and we'll see. Okay, it definitely dried down and I'm not a huge fan of that like cut look. So I went in with like a brush that's a little bit fluffier. This one's from the BH Birthstone series, I think. And I picked up just a tiny bit of product and I'm using it to kind of blend and fade so that it doesn't look so cut. Like when I have my eyes open, it looks cool, but it's just not me. Like I don't like this whew, super sharpness. So I'm just kind of like blending to disperse it a little bit. So that's what's going on right here. Okay, let's try these liners. I have never tried the liner from ColourPop because I'm not usually liking a felt tip for liquid liner. I usually like a brush tip, but there's a white and a black. So I'm just gonna see if I can get just a baby line. So far, it's looking black, it's pigmented, it's not sheer. 
but I mean I'm not like a liner expert I'm just somebody that likes to play with makeup and review makeup and let you know like if you're interested if it's any good or not I will say I definitely like a brush tip more because I feel like with a brush it just glides a little bit better but for just putting a line right now along my lashes I mean it's it's fine I wonder what the white <laughs> will do um, oh that's cool wow that is pigmented that white really pops I was just like putting a random line just to see what it will do okay very pigmented if you're like hey I want a white liquid liner and I don't know a good one that's pigmented well I don't know what I just did but seem, seems to be pigmented to me <laughs> so let's go in with this white shade to highlight the inner corner I'm just gonna grab this Sigma E25 I'm gonna dip into the shade zero right up here and I'm just gonna put that on my inner corner and I'm kind of wrapping it a little bit now let's play with the glitterly obsessed probably the thing that I was most excited for there's plenty of glitter stuck to the cap so I have this tool that I got from Morphe last year that's like a silicone spatula so I'm just gonna use that to like scoop up some of the glitter and this looks like a really pretty glitter like it has lots of dimension and different shapes and sizes so I'm going to like stamp this all over my lid on the inner portion mostly whoops there's a glitter chunk oh and I'm going to fall I picked up too much on my spatula that's okay I'll be able to get that to wipe away but I feel like these gels stay really well man my eyes just have a lot on <laughs> they have a lot on them right now shadows primers glitters jelly shadows I'm going to top this on and I'm just gonna wear mascara I'm gonna skip false lashes today let me pick up some more glitter top it on let it dry I try to keep my eye like looking down for a minute or two so that the gel can really dry down and then I will be back and I'll kind of give you my first impression thoughts on this collection okay this is the look with mascara I ended up putting my finger in the glitter gel and like tapping under my eye and kind of around on the highlighter areas <laughs> I do want to put some of these stickers on though I forgot to show y'all these are the individual crystals so they're just like face stickers you have pink ones purple ones like some yellowy orange ones and then some kind of like rainbow ones and they're all in different sizes so I don't know I really don't know the best way to do these so I'm gonna like maybe pick them up with a tweezer I don't know with my fingernails if I can just like how do I get how do I even get these off the sheet okay I want to put I, like I how, how do you put these on like how am I supposed to just put these on with my finger I feel like they're gonna lose their stickiness by the time I pick them up because I want to put them like I want to put it on the inner corner but it's sticking to me but it's so fat for tweezers how do I apply these help me okay there we go there we go patience Heather I knew it I knew I was gonna struggle so hard that it was just gonna fall off now I don't know where it is I don't know if it's sticky anymore okay let me try again to like pull well it just popped off okay let me try they're just popping everywhere these these were probably a waste of money but let me see I want I really want to stick these jewels on the inner corner it's gone I don't know they keep falling everywhere how do I use these how am I supposed to use these help me okay I give up I can't get these off the sheet and onto my eye I give up okay so aside from these like the lipsticks like the glitter 
I like the Jelly Munch. It's pretty cool. I'm excited to play with it more. Like the liners and like the palette. This is a first impression though. I always follow up after I've tried the products for about a month. So I'll probably review these in four to five weeks so y'all can see like what I really think. I'm going to be testing them more. But I wanted to share with y'all my first impression because... I was excited about this collection. I think it's really fun. I'm feeling my look. I can't wait to wear it out and about today. I'm liking the glitter. Like I look at myself in the mirror and I just feel happy because I'm like color, sparkle. I love it. I like that the palette goes from very light to very dark with lots of tones in between. I can't wait to play with it more. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out when I come back with my full review. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope that you are having a super awesome, wonderful day. And I will see you very soon in another video. Like, probably tomorrow, probably the next day. Like, lots of new videos coming to you this week. Bye.